we've been reading the story Superstorms and we've been learning about all kinds of different kinds of storms. Um, our essential question was, how can some storms be dangerous? So at this point, you should be able to have some ideas about how storms are dangerous. Go ahead and check, push pause, and then think of an answer and then push play when you're ready to go on to the next one. Our brain stretch. We've been reading about all types of weather, so you're going to choose one type of weather. So you could choose hurricane, sunny day, tornado, blizzard, foggy day, thunderstorm, windy day. Okay, so think of words to describe the weather that you chose. Okay, so go ahead and pick one of those and then think of some words to describe that one. Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're ready to go to the next one. Okay, so some of the words you might have chose to describe if you picked hurricane, you might have picked the eye from the eye of the storm, you might have put um, deadly um, for sunny day, you might have put clear, bright for tornado, you might have put dangerous, spinning, windy. For blizzard, you might have put cold, freezing, foggy day, you might have said something like, um, blurry, can't see, something like that, where you can't see through the fog. Thunderstorm, loud, thunder, bright, lightning. Windy day, you might have picked blowing, cold. Sometimes windy days are cold, sometimes they're warm, but you could have picked a lot of different things for those. So hopefully you picked some of those, um, or maybe you came up with a, diff with a different one that is just as good. Let's listen and learn. Today we're going to change the ending of words. So what are syllables in the word? Printed. So the syllables in the word printed would be print and then ed. So you would divide it there. Now this, this little exercise is going to help you when you take tests because there's always a section where it says where do you divide the word. Now, change the last syllable to ing and say the new word. So printed becomes print ing, printing. Okay, so we're going to read the directions on each box and change the ending sounds on the word. So the first one says, what are the syllables in the word ended? Check, pause, play, end, and then id, ended. So it goes in between there. Now, change the last syllable to ing and then say the new word. Check, pause, play. Ending. So we change the ed to ing and we have ending. What are the syllables in the word drifted? Check, pause, play. Drifted. Now, change the last syllable to ing, say the new word. Drift. Ding. What are the syllables in the word batting? Check, pause, play. Bat and then ting. Now this is when we did this last week. We said if there's a double consonant, we divide it between the two consonants. Now change the last syllable to ed, say the new word. Batting to batted. Like he batted at baseball practice. What are the syllables in the word lifting? Lift-ing. Now change the last syllable to ed and say the new word. Lift-ed, lifted. Say and spell these words. We've got before, I, few, happy, high, my, open, people, starts, and yellow. 
So let's spell them. Before, B-E-F-O-R-E. -E. I is E-Y-E. Few, F-E-W. Happy, H-A-P-P-Y. Hi, H-I-G-H. My, M-Y. Open, O-P-E-N. People, P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. Starts, S-T-A-R-T-S and yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W. Click to show each answer. So we're gonna guess the word. Which word rhymes with floor? So which one of these rhymes with floor? Go ahead and push pause and play, so check pause play. Okay, the first one, which one rhymes with floor is before. Floor and before. The second one, which word is an antonym for many? Remember, antonym means opposite. Which word is the antonym for many? Check, pause, play. Few. Many and few are opposites. This word has a short A in the first syllable. A short A in the first syllable. Check, pause, play. You should have got happy. That short A is in the first syllable. If we divide it between the two P's, we have hap. So it's in the first syllable. Number four. You'll hear a long O at the end of this word. So which one of these words up here has a O sound at the end? Check, pause, play. You should have picked yellow. Yellow. Do you hear the long O? O, O, yellow. Okay, so now I want you to say all the everyday words in a dreary voice. Dreary means like you're dreading something, like you're kind of sad and dragging. So whatever you think that sounds like, I want you to say before, I, few, I want you to say them with fluency and when you can read them quickly, then I want you to go to the next slide. You could push play. So go ahead and pause. Read these words with me. Beware damage, bend, flash, pounding, prevent, reach, equal. How do you prevent a sunburn? Name two people in your class of equal height. Why does a camera flash when it takes a picture? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to pop uh, pause and play when you're done. Uh, think of some answers for these three questions. There's just three of them. How do you prevent a sunburn? I prevent a sunburn by name two people in your class of equal height. Two people in my class of equal height are why does a camera flash when it takes a picture? A camera flashes when it takes a picture because. So check, pause, and play. Okay, the next one, we're going to be adding suffixes. Now, a suffix is something that goes to the end. So here, our suffixes that we're going to do are S, E, D, and I, N, G. Those are our suffixes. We add them to words. Um, here's an example for print. You could add the S and have prints, add E, D, and it becomes printed, or add I, N, G, and it becomes printing. So walk becomes what? Go ahead and check, pause, play, and we'll just go straight down and you can tell me. Okay, you should have you should have said walks, walked, and walking. The next one, pick. Let's do check, pause, play, and you could add these. Okay, you should have got picks, picked, and picking. Okay, the next one, fill, add the suffixes, Check, pause, play. You should have got fills, filled, and filling. The next one, jump. Check, pause, play. You should have got jumps, jumped, and jumping. Okay, so that was the last one, but it's really good if you practice writing these with the endings. It will actually help you with your reading. Sometimes when people read walk, they if it has an S on it, they'll just say walk instead of walks, or walked, they'll leave it off, or the ING. Um, it will actually help you with your reading if you write it down, because reading and writing 
when we learn it, they tend to walk hand in hand. So go ahead and write these now. Walk, walks, walked, walking. Pick, picks, picked, picking. Fill, fills, filled, filling. Jump, jumps, jumped, and jumping. And when you're done, that's it.